Good morning. My name is Eric Bach. I work in NEI's Training and Support Department. This morning I will be going over some Tremble Terraflex project creation, specifically importing an XML. First thing I'm going to do is go out to Tremble Terraflex website here. I'm going to log in to my account. And on the left pane here, I'm going to go to my projects. And on the top right, I'm just going to click on Create Project. All right, so I put in a project name and I'm just going to click on done. I put the one here so it show up in the front so I don't have to go search for it. So what I'm going to do now is we have three tabs here at the bottom. You have people, so who you want to associate this project to. We have our templates, our forms, and then we have our map view that shows all those. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on the templates. And you can either create the template manually or you can import a template and it says select an ArcGIS schema file to quickly add templates to this project. So instead of having to recreate everything by hand, I'll bring up our catalog and just to show you here I have this golf course geodatabase and I have a bunch of features in here, points, lines, areas, you know, just different things that this particular customer wants to collect data on on his specific project. I have actually gone in here, I went right clicked said export and if you have the correct licensing level standard or advanced you have the option to ex export out the schema of the geodatabase so if I, I've already done that so we've got XML well let's just do it anyway I'm going to say schema only all right I'm going to hit next and finish and it's going to send that out to XML if I refresh the screen there's the XML okay so back to the InSphere page, I will click on Select XML. We will browse to the correct folder. I'll select the file. I'm going to click on Open. And then I'm going to click on, has it right here. I'm going to click on Import. And you'll see all of my features have been brought in. So now these features are basically templates in the format here. I'm going to select all these. The first time I did this, I went to each one and published them individually. You see they're in draft mode. We're going to publish them out. And then it says, which ones do you want to publish here on the right side? I'm going to hit the checkbox. And you can see that it's gone through. And we'll look. The status has now changed to publish. So that easy. Go back to my project here just to double check. XML test. They're all published. If I come back to this, if I want to associate specific people in my organization, I'm, uh, since I added it myself, I'm the admin it automatically adds me in here. I can click on different people inside of my organization. So let's say I want Phil in here. And now he shows up. And then finally, the last thing is if I want a real time accuracy in the field, I'll come to my real time configuration. So I'm under my organization tab here for NEI, real time configurations. I already have a ton of these set up. Some of the people in our organization have set some of these up as well. And just for now, I'll turn on uh, SBAS. So this is a free correction source in the US, it's WAAS, our WAS corrections. And then let's say I want to use, well, let me link it to the project here. So I link that one. And then let's say I want to use RTX as well. I'll click on link to project XML. So RTX in this case would be a submeter correction. It's a paid subscription and it works all over, all over the US and, and actually worldwide. So that's another source of correction that I can use and I've linked those to my specific project. Now all I have to do is go out to my iPhone, um, download the the app. Alright so we're back here um, I've got my iPhone up on the screen and what we'll do is we're gonna go to settings and I'm gonna go to Bluetooth. I've already made a connection with my R1. After you make your initial connection the Apple renames the R1 to this IAP2. I'm going to double click on it. 
to make it connect. All right, we're connected to the R1. So now I'm going to go into Terraflex. And I'm just going to sign in with my username and password. And you'll see at the top right here, it's syncing. And now I have a blue asterisk here saying, hey, you have a new project. So if I click on projects, you'll now see my XML test. And then all my forms are down there below. So it's, it's that quick. What I will show you as well is I'm going to go to the settings menu. It's up here above projects. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to go down to settings. And I'm going to say, hey, I don't want to use the, the location services of the iPhone. So I'll click on that. And I'm going to say, I want to use the R1. So I'm going to select that. You can put in your information. You'll see I have two. I must not have taken that RTX. Um, I could resync that, republish it, and it'll come back in. But that's where you would change your real time. And then click on home. And that's it. Thank you.